Good morning to you. Welcome into First Take. A little change up this morning. Stephen A. and Molly Karam are both off. I'm Prim Saripapat. Skip Bayless never misses a day. And today we have Shannon Sharp, three-time Super Bowl champion and a graduate that, that of Savannah in, State University. Nowhere here. With nowhere. a degree in criminal justice. Criminal justice. It might, it, it might be criminal what's about to happen to you, but that's okay. Fair shake on it. Welcome back. You, it's been too long. For the life of me, I cannot understand. I beat you down every time. <laughs> Somehow you keep inviting me back. Yeah. It's kind of like when I, my brother used to beat me down. I was a little brother, and I would still go back for yeah. more. But hey, hey, you invited me I, back. I, I, I'm gonna do right by you. I'm gonna I, punish. I will you. let you live with your delusions. <laughs> I want you back because Stephen A. got the day off, and I needed a day off too. So I'm getting an effective day off oh. just sitting here against you. Prim, they told yeah. me the show was scheduled for two hours. Oh. I'm going to end it in the first 30. This isn't really a boxing match, though. We actually have some time to fill. Oh, okay. It, well, it, if it gets to that point, <laughs> I will admit I'm in trouble if it gets to that point. Yes. Well, let's begin. Although I'm sneaky. <laughs> he is a little sneaky, though. Nice suit. I like the colors. All right, so let's begin and let's start in the NFL and talk about the Eagles quarterback situation. Their QBs, Sam Bradford and rookie Carson Wentz, have yet to speak to each other, according to Wentz. But they're about to because Bradford, who's made it pretty clear about how he feels regarding the team's decision to draft Wentz with a second overall pick, is set to return for organized team activities tomorrow. So, gentlemen, whose side are you on? Are you on Bradford's side or are you on Wentz's side? Skip? Shannon Sharp, the more I watch this unfold, the more I am so much on Sam Bradford's side here. And the more I find it stunning and frankly offensive that so many of my media compatriots and so many ex-athletes have leaped to defending the Philadelphia Eagles who so clearly and obviously and outrageously flim flam Sam Bradford. Duped him, misled him, jerked the rug out from underneath him. And, and gave him 22 million and gave in the him process. 22 million okay. in the process. But it's like there's this runaway train that everybody immediately leaped aboard without thinking twice, and it ran over Sam Bradford. And now I am left, ironically, as his, I guess, lone defender here. I haven't heard anybody else defend him. And here's the great irony. I don't even like Sam Bradford. I'm a University of Oklahoma fan, and I never loved him when he played quarterback for me because he was always such a straw man in the pocket. I never thought he could stay healthy. I, I said that the St. Louis Rams are making a huge mistake to draft him number one overall and giving $50 million guaranteed dollars before he ever played an NFL snap. In fact, it got so bad that at points over the last couple of years, I have referred to him sitting in this chair as Sam Badford. That's how bad it has been. So for, just for the record. But the Eagles, let's, let's just sit back and look at this. They led him to believe he would be the unquestioned starter for them, at least for next year. They brought in Chase Daniel to be the, the unquestioned backup to Sam Bradford. I'm not going to say Badford. And they gave him the chance, at least, with a two-year deal to show them that going forward, he could get more comfortable in their offense, as he yet again has to change offenses, than he was in Chip Kelly's. He had a chance to get traded to Chip Kelly and didn't want it because he did not like Chip Kelly's offense. So I'm going to defend him here because that's what that was the deal on the table. The spirit of the deal is you will be our starter next year and have a chance to, as you enter your prime at age 28 to be our starter going forward in the new regime. He wanted to shop himself and find a better starting job if one were out there. And I think Denver would have been a better uh, option for him pre-Mark Sanchez. Yeah, if for we him, go back. not for the Broncos. Okay, well, I don't know about that. You don't, would you think Sam Bradford's better than Mark Sanchez right now? No. I think he would be a better option. Than Mark. Uh, Sanchez is more athletic, and that's what you need in Gary's system. Yeah, but I, uh, system. this guy can be deadly accurate when he gets in rhythm, as we saw in those three late games of, of last year. But you just he told me. He's really good. But you just told me okay. he folds like a lawn chair okay. in the pocket. But, but he has shown me in flashes he can be pretty good as an NFL starting quarterback. So what happens? He inks the deal, and all of a sudden the Eagles who seem to have no plan here suddenly realized they had the ammo to trade from eight up to two in the first round they didn't even know whether they could get Goff or Wentz Wentz or Goff but they did it taking finally Carson Wentz and they bet the ranch on Carson Wentz it is now game over and game rigged for Sam Bradford he's got no chance to win the starting job going forward and yet everybody says oh come on take your money and compete compete for what job Quote, unquote, compete for what? It's over. It is Carson Wentz's team because they invested way too much draft ammo and money in this kid. 
He's just a placeholder now as Sam Bradford. And it offends me because it's so late in the game that a highly respected agent in Tom Condon, wouldn't you agree with that? Absolutely. One of the most, one of right? The, one, of the, one of the best agents regardless Correct. of sports. So he said, game's rigged, we want a shot. Well, it's too late in the game. It was too close to the draft. Every job is taken for the moment. So for right now, Sam Bradford is forced back to say the right things, helmet in hand, and quote unquote, compete for the job with this kid. And the clock is ticking on when this kid gets his first opportunity and hope that some trade can be pulled off in camp when some starter goes down somewhere else or somebody such as Mark Sanchez shows that he can't handle the pressure of being a starting quarterback. Are you finished or are you done? I, I'm just getting started, but I'm going to let you speak for a moment. Sam Bradford had an opportunity. Sam Bradford and Tom Condon had an opportunity to go shop themselves. They did that. They came back when they saw there was nothing out there to their liking. Philly gave them a two-year deal. In the process of this two-year deal. No, you're talking about before he signed with Philly. Yes, yes. No, I think he thought Philly was his best option, but he had other options. As a two-year deal, Philly basically told him, we are dating. But you do, not get, you do not get a key to the apartment, and you better not stop by unannounced. So what are they telling you, Skip? We're really that not into you. Understand that. Now think about this. Just, what, three, four, three years ago, four years ago, mm -hmm. the Los Angeles Rams had the, first, had the second pick in the draft. They traded it. They said, you know, Sam Bradford's our guy. We're going to ride with Sam Bradford. Don't you think it's ironic this, in this year's draft the first and the second team, team that Sam Bradford currently plays for and the team that he played for, took a quarterback with the first two picks. Mm -hmm. You think that's ironic? Not really. Exactly. At this juncture of the game, we know who, we know what, and we know how this is going to end for Sam Bradford. Skip, he's scary in the pocket. It's as simple as that. He folds like a lawn chair in the pocket. You give him time, which very few quarterbacks have. The really good ones, the Tom Brady, the Drew Breeses, the Ben Roethlisberger, mm -hmm. they can stay in the pocket, stare down the barrel of the gun, pardon the expression, and deliver the ball down the field. That's not what he Why was. did they give him starting quarterback money then? Because they had no idea they could trade up for that kid. It doesn't matter. Skip, there are no guarantees in sports. You don't get to come in and dictate. You had your opportunity. You were the first pick in the draft. You missed one whole year. You missed eight games the other year. He hasn't been healthy since he's been in the league. Okay. But now you want us to put all our eggs in his basket and hope we don't trip to the market. Trip on our way to the market with Sam okay. Bradford? Okay, are you condemning him then for trying through his agent to, to seek a trade after they drafted Carson Wentz? Are you blaming him? Would you not do the same thing in his shoes right now? I'm going to compete. I'm, I'm you gonna, got no I'm shot. Gonna, I'm going to make you look foolish. Oh, please. I'm going to... They did that with Phillip Rivers. It wasn't until Drew Brees tore his labrum and they had a 10%, 20% chance of ever playing again that they finally made the decision to move to Phillip Rivers. Mm -hmm. Drew Brees kept Phillip Rivers on the bench for what, two, three years? He did. So but he was it, winning the job. Okay, that, that, well, but it, win it the happened, job, it Sam Bradford. Just, okay. Win the job, Sam okay, Bradford. But, but Drew Brees tore his, you just said it, he tore his labor, and that's the only way he lost the job back to Phillip Rivers. That's my point, Skip. If Sam Bradford is as good as you say he is and as good as he thinks and Tom Condon thinks he is, shouldn't he beat Carson Wentz, a guy played at North Dakota State? No. Because they got to get him in the lineup. They put too much into him. Those Philly fans, you know how Philly fans are. They will be chanting for Wentz, Wentz, Wentz in game two, game three. And they're, they're not, not a very good play, team. Not they're going to play. lose games. Not if he can play. If he's as good as you say he is. And you said he should be appalled that they would move up in the draft and wager their future. Hey, on Carson Wentz. It's Why? not Paul. J just tell him that's what we we're don't doing. Have to, yeah. Skip. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Do you think Bill Belichick tells Tom Brady who he's going to draft? And you think they're going to afford Tom Brady's won four rings. And that's my point, and they don't tell him. What are they going to do for Sam Bradford? Do you actually think okay. the Eagles should tell Sam Bradford okay. who's... 
who's not. I will bet you that Sam Bradford had three or four opportunities that were equal to Philly's, but because he had been in Philly for a couple of years, he said, I'll stay here with the new regime. I like these guys. It feels right to me. They brought in the unquestioned backup quarterback to me and Chase Daniel, who will be no real threat to me next year, and I'll see if I like these guys. He wasn't sold on them either. Okay, so, so they're so not they're sold dating. on them, so we're they're not dating. even. Okay, but but he's he's 28. He's entering the prime of his career right now for the next six or seven years. Well, let years. me tell you what he is. He's a 28-year-old, injury-prone, seven and nine quarterback. Nothing more, nothing, okay, nothing there are, less. There are a lot of those guys out there. I will. We're bet not you. talking about those guys. We're talking about Sam Bradford. That's what he is. Okay. Seven years into his career, he is a seven and nine, injury-prone quarterback. Are there more than 32 quarterbacks better than Sam Bradford? Well, he, Tom Condon, was what? Didn't he wait for free agency? If he waited that long, they didn't sign him to an extension. If you, wait, if you waited that long, test the market. He tested the market and found out there was no suitors to his liking. Okay. He went back to Philly, take the $22 million, go compete. There's okay. nothing else to talk about. All right, but, but he's stuck right now because he, he, they, they, they shot him. him. Okay, no, so they're not the stuck with The Rams were stuck with him for five years. Well, you know what I proposed? I propose that Sam Bradford give his money back and go back out on the open market. You I noticed, have. You, you noticed that? That's what I He didn't do that. Uh, he didn't do that, did he? Okay. Well, okay. I, I said. So now he it's, it's too late in the game. Everybody got their guy. RG3's in Cleveland. Sanchez is in Denver. I, I, I'm willing to bet if, they give, if he gave the money back, Philly would release it. Hmm. But he, he didn't want that. I proposed he, it. He wanted to pick and choose Tom Conner because, see, you know who Tom Condon's other client was who just retired from Denver? Peyton Manning. So what he was going to try to do, he was going to try to strong arm. Mm -hmm. Guess what, Broncos? I know you lost Peyton. You know, I did your solid now. I brought Peyton to you four years ago. I'm going to give you Sam. No, give the money back. Go out on the open market and see what you can get. Okay, how foolish would he make the Eagles look if he, quote, unquote, wins the job for the next two years? If he competes at a high level, performs at a high level, there's no way they can get away. They would look like fools if they don't start to ease Carson Wentz into the fray. They pay him too much money, too much to trade from eight up to two. You know it and I know it. It's game over. If I had wheels, I'd be a Mercedes. No, I wouldn't. You keep saying if. I don't do the if. We know what he is, Skip. After six years, the likelihood of him being this great franchise quarterback is next to Neil. Now, I'm not going to say it's impossible because they put man on the moon. And that's what this is. For him to be an elite quarterback, a franchise quarterback, you say, you know what? If we get Sam Bradford, we can contend for a championship. You know that's, that's past. Okay. That, that, that you, car you is gone. The, the last three games of the year last year, you, he threw for 300 plus. Hold on. He can throw it. He can wing it. He can skip, spin skip, it. Skip, skip, What about the previous six years? You want to take three he games? He had his flashes in St. Louis. He had flashes. He did. Haley's Comet. I saw Haley's Comet in 1986. <laughs> you, you I probably won't be, see it. I absolutely, you, you I did, absolutely nice. did. Probably won't be around 77 yeah. in the third year to see the next yeah, one. probably not. You like to put everything in a microcosm. You like to take, okay, he played good for three games. I got six years of tape. You want to take three games? Okay, they signed him. I'm just saying somebody would have taken a chance because this league is desperate they, for Sam Bradford. It's desperate he in could, other places. He could have said, he and his agent could have said, if you don't give me at least a four-year deal with 40 million guaranteed, I'm walking. He didn't do that. You know why? Because there was nothing else out there. Skip, you know that. I don't know, but what the Jets would have signed him if they're having trouble with Fitzpatrick. See, we, we keep getting into these scenarios. Let's deal with what we know. What we know. He was not offered a long-term deal from the Eagles or none of the other 32 teams. We know that. They gave him $22 million over the first two years, guaranteed. We know that. All these other scenarios that you want to come up with, we don't know if they ever existed. We know at 28, he's injury-prone, he's 7-9 at best. Mm -hmm. That's what we know. Okay. What I know is the other kid went to North Dakota State, and I know next to nothing about his NFL I don't possibilities. Care. I don't care if he played semi-pro and he went to Savannah State, my alma mater. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know what the Eagles think? Say, you know what? Moving forward, we believe that guy gives us a better Thank chance you. to win long You're term right. that than is this correct. guy. Which is why that guy will be in the starting lineup sooner than later next year. I, How many games will Sam Bradford start? before he loses the job. Uh, I know he's going to miss at least one or two games for injury. We know that. I don't know that for a fact, but he has. Is he? 
I love how you like to say he played good the three games, but in six years, he's missed a season, he's missed half a season, he's missed another two games, but we don't know what's going to happen. Okay, I saw him, he, he won the Heisman Trophy. He's a dark thrower. <laughs> Uh, let, let's not talk about Heisman Trophy winners yeah. that didn't do very well in the yeah. NFL, okay? <laughs> okay. We're going we to leave that alone, Skip. Mm -hmm. I'm not going there with you today. We're going to keep it. Is it actually possible that a quarterback from a 1AA or FCS school can actually perform better than somebody who played at a D1 school like Oklahoma? Joe Flacco. Mm, okay. All right. Good. I'm, just, I'm just, throw, just throwing some names. I'm just spitting all of your I can keep going. Game. Terry Bradshaw, Phil Simms. I can, I can keep throwing them out. Okay. That happens every once in a while. Well, listen, let's Not stay... Not so sure this time. We'll see what happens, but let's continue talking about the NFC lease. <clears throat> I mean, the NFC Oh, lease. boy. Mm, so, well...